Oh, hey, Roll. Can, huh? Good to see you. <laughs> oh, hey, everybody. Well, I know y'all have waited on me a second, but let me tell you what I was doing. And uh, it's, uh, it's good stuff. But, uh, you know, I, first of all, I went to the Dairy Queen before I stopped at the elementary school. And then I stopped at the Pineville Drive-In and I got a hot dog. And, and all that went really good. And then we were still early, you know. And we got right almost to Welch. And, you know, of course, where the, that's where the prison is. And I said, hold on, we got time. I'm going in here. And you may not know this, but our company did all that work there. I mean, we did all the mining there. We leveled all the land where the prison is. Bluestone Coal Company, years and years and years ago, did all that work. And uh, I was really, really proud of that because, because <clears throat> we put in a bid. I don't remember what it was, but it was something like, 2.3 million or something like that. And the next closest bidder was like 22 million. And so, but we knew that the county and the state didn't have any money to be able to do the work. And so if we had a bid 15 million or 20 million or whatever, surely it would have been better for us, but no, but nothing would have been done, nothing. And there's, there's older people that are out there in the wilderness that could att you know, attest to exactly what I'm talking about. So at the end of the day, we got it done and, and I'm really proud that I was a part of it and everything and, and I had brown hair at the time and all that's good. But I wanted to see one thing and that was just this, is while we were doing all the work where the prison is and creating all the flat land for additional housing or manufacturing or whatever it was, there was a contractor that was building a piece of the Coalfield Expressway. I don't know if, you've, if you know this or have forgotten about this, but you talk about a bridge to nowhere. I mean, there's a piece of the Coalfield Expressway built, you know, and it was built, who knows how long ago, 15 or 20 years ago. And, and it was completed with the, you know, with what looked like to me, you know, could have been the next stage to paving, next stages to paving or guard railing or whatever. Now just think about this. I mean, I wanted to see that again because at the end of the day, you know, I haven't been around, you know, forever. I've been around just a little over two years, but I want I mean, that, the Coalfield Expressway has been in the works now going on 29 years. Well, I am telling you, I absolutely, that needs done. And it needs done at least all the way to Welch. And, and we're meeting on it all the time. You don't have any idea what I'm doing on all that stuff, but uh, we're meeting and we're working on it. And I can't promise you that it's gonna get done day after tomorrow. But I can tell you just this, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Some way, somehow, and I don't, and the ladies will have to forgive me, but, and I've said it, I can't be more emphatic. My God of living, you know, that is the lifeblood to our communities everywhere. If you don't have highways, you can't do anything hardly. And it's right there for the taking. And so some way, somehow, We've got to connect Southern West Virginia to the rest of the world. And that's our lifeblood in some way. And please forgive me, but I, the, the best way for me to say it is we got to get the damn road built. That's all there is to it. It's just got to get done. And so, uh, you know, I'm really proud to have been a piece of it, but I'd be a whole lot more proud to be the author of getting it done. And so, so I, I, I drove around, I was there, and you know, like I said, we were early, and we, we drove to the last parking lot, and then I had to drive through the grass, then I down in this dip and up and everything where people would have never believed you could got a vehicle in order to get to the edge where you could see over and what I wanted to see. And so we did, and then all of a sudden, here come all the guards after us, you know, because <laughs> you know, they didn't have a clue what we were doing. And so... Then the guards were cooking or something over here and having a hamburger or something like that. 
And so we went back over to where they were, and I went out there as well. And then they said, will you please take a picture and all that? And so I was out there hugging the guards and everything. So, <laughs> so that's where I've been. But, you know, it gives me another bit of knowledge and another bit of urgency, you know, that uh, it's a crying shame. I mean, great, goodness alive. You know, it's grown up, on, it's almost in grouse woods now. I mean, you could go down there and hunt a grouse. And, uh, but it's, it's just, it's a shame. Why, we spent, who knows, 11 million, 20 million, I don't know what it was. And we built, we built a piece of road with no connect on either end and just left. You know, it's a crying shame. It's a crying shame. But it's good that it's built. If you got somebody that's fired up about getting the rest of it done. And I know these great senators and I know you and everything else, of, you know, we'll all be on board. Now, let me do this. Today we're giving away a bunch of money down here and that's really good stuff. You know, we're giving away, here's 630,000. This is just not chicken feed. This is big stuff. And this one is a million three. And this one is a million five. Well, that's 3.4 3. or something like that million rolling into McDowell County, and that's great stuff. Great, great, great stuff. Now, I've got a couple notes. I want to read this real quick. I don't ever read the notes, but I want to read what they are. You know, uh, one of the grants is for the town of Bradshaw. A million five hundred thousand will be used to rehab the town's current wastewater treatment plant and to improve sanitation services for over 100 homes, plus 18 businesses and two schools. Good stuff, good, good, good stuff. Another grant's a million three, and there is actually no, this is awarded to the town of Jaeger, and uh, right now there's actually no wastewater sanitation system in Jaeger, and, and we're going to Change that, we're going to install 12,000 linear feet of wastewater lines, four pumping stations, and all the kids, and all the kids of new equipment. I don't know exactly what that means. And this will improve sanitation for 100 homes, plus several businesses and another school. And the last is 600,000 to McDowell County Commission that's going to install 20 miles of fiber lines in the Bull Creek area, and I'm going to mispronounce this. Is this uh, a Saban? Is a ban. Is a ban. Is a ban areas. God, I thought I knew every single foot of McDowell County, but I don't know where Is a ban is. It's going to improve internet speeds and reliability to 300 homes and several businesses. Now, let me tell you. It's so simple. It's so simple. Our rural areas have been neglected because we didn't have any money. We didn't have any money, you know? And the money everybody spent, you hate to say it, but the money people spent, they spent where they could get votes. That's all there is to it. Let's just be honest. They spent the money where the most votes were. And you, you know, were left holding the bag. You know, connecting you to the real world, you know, the other thing that drives me crazy is just this, and, and I know a little bit about this. From the, from the very thing, a lump of coal, that powered our nation, fought our wars, and did everything under the sun, and you, you did a lot of that right here in McDowell County, Wyoming County. All of the great counties that have done this, you know, whether it be Boone or on and on, Raleigh, it doesn't matter, Mercer, everything. But you in McDowell County were superstars. And then we just walked off and left you. That's all there is to it. Just walked off and left you. Like you don't even matter. You know, well, you do matter to me. You really do. And, uh, and I'll promise you that uh, I'm trying to do everything that I can possibly do to help Southern West Virginia. Because, you know, I go through the same thing over and over. I owe my life to coal. I owe my life to Southern West Virginia. You know, I love our entire state and I want to do anything and everything I can to help our entire state, but, but I don't want you to be neglected. That's all there is to it. And, uh, and so we're going to keep on slugging and we're going to let your voice be heard and, uh, and we're going to try to do any and everything we possibly can. 
And, uh, and I mean that. I really mean that. You know, it, it's, it's not fair. It's just plain not fair. You know, for uh, you to generate severance tax dollars that are astronomical, and then you get a little teeny piece in every bit of the state shares. You know, and yet then when it comes to crunch time, our politicians then decide that what they're going to do is take care of the big vote areas. You know, it's not fair. So anyway, let's give these away, okay? Let's start, let's start with the smaller one, but this one is really important from the standpoint of connecting you. You know, we all want to be connected. We all need high-speed connectivity. You know, being out of the loop today, I mean, you know, you can run a powerhouse of a business from your basement, you know, if you're connected. You know, but, uh, and we got a long ways to go on this. This is, this is really important. This is just a baby start. We got a long ways to go statewide on this one. But if, if the people from uh, the McDowell County Commission have come up, I'll give them $630,000. Don't get to do that very often. You know, we were able to pick your characters. Long time no see, sir. Good to see you again. How we doing? Okay, now I'm going to read it. It says, this is to certify that a grant of 600000 has been awarded to McDowell County Commission for the Bull Creek and Isaban, right? Isaban. 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 Broadband Expansion Project. And then it's got real little print I can't even see in my name. Okay, guys, thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. Well, I'm going to sit back down. Okay, thank you again. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank y'all. Okay, let's step on up a level here. Okay, this is for Jaeger. It's a uh, million three hundred thousand. If those people would come up, you know, if there if there's anybody here. That's all right. This, I'll take this and go to Wendy's. <laughs> hey, guys. How y'all doing? Great to see you. Great to see you. How about you reading? You can do it. Well, you can read for us. Okay? She's one that'll spend it in. Yeah. Uh, community Development Block Grant. It's... This is to certify a grant of $1.3 million has been awarded to the town of Yeager for the regional sewer phase one project. Can't beat it. Way to go. Now turn that around. There's a, we'll get your picture. Thank you. Okay. Thank you all so much. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you there, my friend. Thank you so much. Okay. Last but not least. So you and Roland need to have been up here with these. Y'all need to be up here with these. Come on. Now, I mean, this is the town of Bradshaw. A lot of people in this world have no idea where Bradshaw is. But I know. That's for sure. And hopefully a lot, lot more will know now. But would you like to read this, sir? I'll try it. Try it. This is your... Just start right there. Oh, okay. Community Development Block Grant. This is certified that, that a grant for one point million one million five hundred thousand hundred thousand has been awarded to the town of Bradshaw for the sanitary sewer upgrade project. Signed by Governor Jim Justice. Oh, that's good. <laughs> good enough. I can't see the other print. You you keep that. Sir. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Thank, Thank y'all again and again. You, Come over here and we'll all get our picture made. Come here. Everybody. <laughs> okay, we're going we're gonna to all get around and you're going to hold that up. Okay? I don't want to block you up, sir. <laughs> all right, y'all ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. No, thank y'all so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Keep doing great work. I met you once at the back of the yeah. <laughs> I'd like to meet you at first sometime. Okay. Well, well, we'll tell our people and we'll get it done. I appreciate it.
Okay. Yeah, he go send me some emails about everything and I'm gonna send it to you sure too. Okay. That'd be good. <coughs> Let me end by just saying this. You know, uh if it's water, and if it's sewer, and if it's your voice, and that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about water to people. I mean, you know, I said it over in Wyoming County, but it's absolutely the truth. You just think about this. So many of us just take it for granted. I mean, so many of us just go in and turn the faucet on, let's take it for granted. But really and truly, for those that don't have water, are you kidding me? I mean, for crying out loud, I mean, it is our duty to try to do anything and everything we can to at least have people with water. And then the next thing is, should we not have people with proper sanitation? I mean, are you kidding? And then the last thing is, you've got to be able to have your voice heard. I mean, we're in a technology, you know, era today that everybody, you know, everybody, can, there's so much that can be done if you can connect. But you've got to be able to connect. And the worst thing of all is just this. And you, think, you may think that I'm just blowing smoke, but I don't have time to do that in my life. You see, at the end of the day, and this is all there is to it, all I do is try to make the right decisions. Now, sometimes they're not real popular because, you know, you've got two sides all, all the time going on and hacking up on this and that and everything else. But at the end of the day, I'm not a politician. I didn't come into this for something. I don't care about me. For, for, I don't care about anything whatsoever that you can get to me other than your love. I don't need the next hot, hot tip, you know, and I don't need any more status or whatever, all that stuff. You've heard me say all this. I am telling you, all I want to do is get stuff done. That road out there just goes to nowhere on both ends is ridiculous. The fact that you don't have water in place is ridiculous. And sanitation, ridiculous. You know, and the fact that you've been neglected, ridiculous. And you need broadband right on top of all that. So listen, I promise you, I'm going to slug as hard as I can. These great people are doing the same thing. Your senators, they're working. Every, you know, at the end of the day, at least we're sitting here today giving away three point something million dollars. And you know how much money we had to give away? Thirteen. Thirteen total. Well, you got 30% of the total, or dead gum near it, you know. Well, you see what we're doing? We're putting our stake in the sand and saying, you in Southern West Virginia are deserving and you're important. So, I'm out of here. God bless you.